well, every day when I, I live here every day, but you are as well today. Um, to our left hand side is the old historic Red Onion Saloon. That building was uh, built in 19, 1898 during the gold rush days. It was built about six blocks up and they later moved it down to its current location by rolling it on logs down the street. But when they put it into its current location, they put it in backwards. So they had to cut the front fascia off from the back side then and move it around to the street side. Oh dear. Old Golden North Hotel on our left hand side there. Man's a bar and grill. What's the, um, right. the population here? About 800 something? Uh, it's just over a thousand officially, but about 750 stay here year round. Oh. Myself included. I've been in Skagway for nine years now. Wow. I don't even know if I told you my name. By the way, it's Sam. Sam. If I yeah, you did, yeah, Sam. <laughs> Hardware store there. That's oh, kind that's of like our Walmart. That's like your home we people. have a saying in Skagway. <laughs> if uh, <clears throat> If you need something, you go to the hardware store. If they don't have it, you don't need it. <laughs> huh? There's a moose. A moose there. I was just about to say, there's a moose. <laughs> a wooden moose. Successful tour. A wooden moose. Your wish came true, you see? Damn right. Well, I wouldn't get a lottery ticket just yet. Say <laughs> that. Our tour bus that we're on so this is our first stop on our six hour tour <laughs> but it's pretty cool <laughs> the train is coming past the mountain which is really cool I think is that the Yukon White Pass or <laughs> so we are at Bryce 
Tidal Vale Falls and it's pretty cool. Also, you can really smell the trees, it smells amazing. <laughs> Literally set off the bus and you can smell the trees. <laughs> Just made it to the Yukon site and there are a ton of flies around. No idea what they are. They're very annoying and they are small. But uh, okay, fine. Mountains. <laughs> yes, it's very cool. You liking this so far? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they are, and it's like they swarm you as well. After <laughs> caribou crossing, and we're having our lunch now, which is barbecue. And then we're gonna go see the puppies. Chicken is huge. I know, right? <laughs> nice. Sled dog tour now. Well, ride. Sled dog ride. Why are you nipping? Nipping? You know. <laughs> Why are you nipping? He's like, just give me a finger. Give me a finger. <gasps> <gasps> They're trying to get out of the cage. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, uh, Hello, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey. Oh, we gotta tell who's off. My little friend. My little friend. Don't fight, Tilly. Don't fight. I know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. What is that noise about? Eh? Yeah, but, yeah, I keep pushing her down. He's like, all right, I'll show you how long this is going to be. When I lay in there, you can't hold me up. Come on, what's area with this? No fence. Let's go for it. I give up. Well, I'll come find the team. I'll find the card. The A big bun. Yeah. <coughs> 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 This is my friend. This is my one. Even though, hang on. See, you nice. This one. This one likes him. the colours there. We're going into the world's smallest desert right now. Car Cross Desert. It's <laughs> it. And then the snow, but snow, the <laughs> sand in front of it. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest thing I've seen in my entire life is a yeah. mini desert in Alaska. It looks so cool though. On, no, on, no vlog. Have I seen where someone said there's a car across desert, like a stanchial desert? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah, the, the thing is that there is no visibility, there's no. nothing. But apparently there is a full 
splits into two yeah. that covers the two countries. Just to try to okay, this bit, there's a drop at 7,000 feet. So <laughs> Back on board now, but the excursion, we really enjoyed it, it was good, it was a different perspective as to where, as to if we would have done the train, I think. Um, it was good to get off and we got off at a lot of stops, um, hopefully I got some decent enough footage from everything. Um, but yeah, it was really good. The guide was really funny and informative and he was really good at taking pictures for everyone as well, which was really sweet. And he kept saying, you know, I'm here to take pictures if you want. <laughs> um, yeah, so we saw quite a few places uh, or points of interest. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in Emerald Lake, but that's I think that's because it wasn't very bright um, I think on a sunny day you really see Emerald Lake for what it is which is it's just very green um, but other than that it was good the mushes camp was fun the food was good the ride on the buggy was fun as well I was a little disappointed that I didn't get to hold any puppies but did get to play with some for a little bit at least um, but maybe that's just a case to do the musher camp with Disney on another trip <laughs> maybe <laughs> um, yeah so overall I would it is quite long I mean six hours is quite long uh, and it's it is a lot of driving as well even though you do sort of stop now and then um, but there were times where I was falling asleep Yes. <laughs> um, it was very warm on the coach as well like temperature wise he was good at asking everyone is it too hot is it too cold things like that um, but yeah definitely recommend it as, as something to kind of take up the majority of the day but yeah that is it